at the moment, treatments for Alzheimer's are extremely unsatisfactory. But I think we know a fair amount about prevention of Alzheimer's disease. Um, for example, it begins as an inflammatory process in the brain. So anything that reduces inflammation is protective. That's why taking ibuprofen every day reduces risk of, of Alzheimer's disease, for example. So does turmeric, the yellow spice. I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. Uh, so that's one strategy, is an anti-inflammatory diet and lifestyle. Um, we also know that education is protective against Alzheimer's disease and dementia. And the reason for that seems to be that education increases what's called neural redundancy, which is duplicative connections between nerve cells in the brain. So the more connections you've got, the more you can afford to lose before a problem shows up. So what can, you know, I want, I've thought about what are there particular kinds of education and learning that stimulate that? And I think there are. One, one that I'm sure of is changing a computer operating system. Uh, if you can relate to that particular kind of frustration that comes for a few days when you've done that and you want everything back the same, you want to put your brain in that state frequently. You know, that's when neurons are growing new connections. Uh, a, a way to do that on an ongoing basis is to learn another language. Uh, there's very interesting evidence that people who speak more than one language have better brain function generally and better protection against dementia. The good news is you don't have to master the, the language, it's just the attempt to learn it. It's like running different software through the brain, and uh, that's a good thing to do. So I think there's a, there's a lot of strategies of that sort out there uh, that I think can reduce the chance that you will end up with Alzheimer's disease or dementia. Uh, 